Hi, I'm Ashiki Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I feature all about accounting tutorials. Today, I'll show you some practical questions of analysis and interpretation. So let's get started. Okay, I'll look at the question here on the screen. If France accounting year ends on 30 April, the following information is available for the years ended 30 April 2015, 16 and 2017. So here you have information about three financial years of this businessman. Okay, so look at the question once again, what is given here? So here is given that revenue, cost of sales, opening inventory, expenses, capital, bank loan, uh, gross profit margin and rate of inventory turnover and uh, return on capital employed okay so here to, uh, 2015 and 16 all the informations means all the answers are given clearly but look at the uh, 2017 here there are three question mark so gross profit margin is not given our uh, rate of inventory turnover is not given and return and capital employed is not given so now we need to calculate these three okay before that return on capital employed it is sometimes very confusing to calculate okay so today now you understand how to calculate return on capital employed okay so before that we will first calculate the gross profit margin okay so how to calculate the gross profit margin what is the formula for gross profit margin yeah so already you know that gross profit margin equal to gross profit margin equal to what here gross profit and here sales revenue and times 100 okay so in this question we have here sales revenue but there is no gross profit okay but we have here cost of sales so we know uh, uh, gross profit equal to sales revenue minus cost of sales yeah so here we will write revenue minus cost of sales divided by revenue okay times 100 so i repeat here to calculate gross profit we need to subtract the cost of sales from the sales revenue okay we have this revenue in that question so what is that the value is here two hundred thousand dollars okay so let us write here revenue is two hundred thousand dollars and Cost of sales is also given. What is it? $164,000. Yeah. Okay. Then revenue is here again. $200,000. Okay. Now we have to multiply by 100. So what will be here? Here $200,000. Dollars. If we subtract this one hundred sixty-four thousand dollars from two hundred thousand, it is how much? Thirty-six thousand dollars. Multiply by hundred. Okay. So now you divide thirty-six thousand dollars by two hundred thousand dollars and multiply by hundred. Okay. If we calculate, our answer will be here. Eighteen percent. Yeah. So it is pretty easy, but it comes often in the exam. So this is the way to calculate gross profit margin. Okay. So first one is done. So what about next next one? The rate of inventory turnover. This is also very important. Okay. So how to calculate the rate of inventory turnover? So we know the rate of inventory turnover equal to the rate of inventory turnover equal to here cost of cos cost of sales okay then what then 
opening inventory opening inventory okay plus closing inventory closing inventory okay then divided by 2 okay so you divide this value by 2 then we need to calculate the answer okay so here already we have the cost of sales which is $164,000 okay so now look at the question here we have opening inventory and the closing inventory yeah so opening inventory is clearly given in the question what is it it is $11,000 okay so let us write here $11,000 plus we have here closing inventory what is it inventory on 30 April 2017 was valued at uh, $9,500 okay so this is our closing inventory so let us write here $9,500 okay now we have to add these two values then we will divide by 2 okay so if we add these two values it is $20,500 and you divide it by 2 and here $164,000 okay now what comes if we divide this this uh, $20,500 by 2 we have here what 10,250 okay here $164,000 now if we calculate it is what if you say it is 16 then you are correct okay so unit will be here times 16 times okay i see a lot of students right here percentage okay so there will be not no percentage so it is time okay so um rate of inventory turnover is over okay now the last one here given that uh return on capital employed R O C E. So, what is the formula here? So, we know that capital employed equal to what? Okay. So, R O C E. So, here profit for the year, profit for the year. Okay. If you say it is net profit also fine okay uh, then what divided by capital employed times here 100 okay now we don't have any profit for the year in this question even capital employed is not given in the question so, uh, so first of all we need to calculate our profit for the year so we already calculate here gross profit yeah which is thirty six thousand dollars how we calculated gross profit revenue minus cost of sales we had revenue in the question we had cost of sales in the question okay we subtracted these two values and we got thirty six thousand dollars okay this is our gross profit so look at the question once again in 2017 here we have expenses $22,000. So already you know gross profit plus incomes minus expenses equal to profit for the year or net profit. So in this question, there is no other income. Okay, we have just expenses. So we'll subtract these expenses from the gross profit. Okay, so let us write here gross profit GP minus expenses expenses times 100 okay fine we calculated profit for the year but what about capital employed okay so capital employed equal to capital plus long-term liability okay 
I repeat, capital plus long term liability. Okay, so in this question, we have only one long term liability. Which one? Yes? Yeah, if we say it is bank loan, $20,000, yes, you are correct. Okay, so here already we have capital, which is $50,000. Okay, so let us write here capital plus bank loan. Okay, so now we put the value here. So we know gross profit is here, $36,000. Subtract the expenses given in the question, which is $22,000. And here capital is given in the question $50,000. Same we have bank loan which is $20,000. Okay, then we multiply by 100. So now if we subtract $22,000 from 36, it is $14,000. Here if we add 50 plus 20, it is $70,000 dollars times 100 okay very easy calculations so now if we multiply by if we multiply 100 by fourteen thousand dollars then divide by seventy thousand dollars it is 20 percent okay so this is how we need to calculate return on capital employed okay this is very important ratio in accounting in this chapter analysis and interpretation okay so next time i'll show you more more a uh, question like this uh, so you can prepare properly for your examinations for your classes okay so this is all about our today's lesson i hope you understood and you enjoyed this lesson if you think that this video is helpful for you please share with your friends okay and subscribe to my channel for more new videos and i'll see you soon with another one and you stay safe bye bye take care